The Hornets and the Pelicans played last night, but more importantly, Lonzo and LaMelo had their first matchup in the NBA. And so what could we actually take away from this game? Well, let's take a closer look. So I just wanna start by saying off, what a cool story. I mean, these brothers won a high school championship together. Now they're playing against each other in the NBA. They both got drafted top three. I could not wait for their first NBA matchup. And it was dramatic too. The Hornets were down by over 20 points and they rallied late to get the win. But what did we take away from from this game? What could we look at what LaMelo and Lonzo did in this game? And I always thought LaMelo would be the better player and have the better career because I just think he's a better basketball player overall. But I thought Lonzo's like big brother mentality and years of experience in the league would show in a high pressured game because you know they were both very nervous and neither of one of them wanted to get embarrassed in this game. But it was actually LaMelo who shined in the head to head matchup and it wasn't even really close. He was one assist away from a triple double. He had 12 points, 10 rebounds and nine assists. And if he would have gotten that one more assist, he would have been the youngest player in NBA history to receive a triple double and Lonzo struggled very very bad he only had five points two rebounds and three assists he was two from eight from the field and one from seven from three and he has the better team like the Pelicans are by far the better team than the Hornets because the Pelicans are a realistic playoff team they have Lonzo Ball they have Steven Adams they have a ton of talent they have JJ Redick a ton of shooters so when Lonzo usually has a game with five points he usually has like 12 to 15 assists because that means he was just distributing, but he did not shine in anywhere in the game. And so for me, this only confirms what I thought about these two players, And but even to a greater extent. They're both quiet kids. They don't say much. They're not huge vocal leaders, but LaMelo has the it factor and his teammates believe it. And they believe it more so than Lonzo's teammates believe it about him. And I really think it comes down to that Lonzo's time in LA was the worst thing ever for him. All the pressure he had that Magic Johnson said they were gonna be lifting his name on the banners. After every bad game, they were just berating him constantly and he was in the papers. And so a kid with all this talent and all this high potential just kind of got, you know, swept under the rug and now people don't rally around him like you should as rally around your point guard and what you see with the hornets is the hornets really believe in lamello and they think he has it they think they can build their franchise around him and that's exactly what i see in the near future i see the pelicans viewing lonzo as a trade asset or expendable and the hornets see lamello as an untradeable piece and they're gonna build their franchise around him eventually so yes even though i know this is their first game and i don't want to completely overreact what i saw in last night's game spoke volumes it's all i needed to see i saw how the hornets rallied back to win how lonzo choked under the pressure and the big brother just got completely beat up by the little brother it had to have been humiliating i know they were texting and calling after the game i know lavar was on the phone with both of them it was probably insane but Lamelo really shined in this game i think lonzo struggled a lot and it showed but i can't wait for more head-to-head -head matchups i don't see this i mean they're an opposite conference i don't see this being a finals matchup anytime soon um but hopefully when they're in the same conference eventually they'll be able to get to play a lot more and maybe Le leandro will join the discussion eventually but let me know what you guys saw from yesterday's game i thought it was super exciting i don't know when their next game against each other is but i will definitely be tuning into that one hope i'm not overreacting too much but what i saw let me know what you guys think. All right, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you all next time. Peace.